first in the tank is a social media star who created a business poking fun at social media stars. What's up, Sharks? I'm Tank Sinatra. I'm from New York. I make memes and I spread good news for a living. And I'm here seeking $500,000 in exchange for a whopping 10% equity stake in my company, Influencers in the Wild, the game. Now, let's start with the basics. Some of you, how do I say this? Older, more wonderful sharks might be wondering, Tank, what is an influencer? Well, you see that girl over there trying to snap the perfect picture of herself, distracting everyone around her? That is an influencer. It's all about gaining followers on social media. So I took the idea of influencers and internet culture in general and built a board game around that. Introducing Influencers in the Wild, the game. Go places, gain followers, get famous, no talent required. It reimagines the classic board game, except in our game, you rack up followers instead of money. Players make their way around the board one roll of the die at a time, and just like in real life, the player with the most followers wins. So, Sharks, who wants to use their influence and money, let's keep it real, that's why I'm here, to make this the best-selling board game of all time? You're gonna show us how it works? Yeah, how do of you course. play? Yeah, you're actually, you're, you're being a little distracting. There's a room back there with great lighting. If you wanna go back there and take some selfies, <laughs> that would be fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks for your help. All right, so that was Chloe. She's like a legit OG influencer. How Are many, you an influencer? How many influencer? followers does she have? Yeah, Tank is big time on Instagram. I follow him. Tank Sinatra is like the real well, deal. Well, tell me about yours because I sure. do not follow you. You do follow but... me. You follow Tank's Good News. Oh, your Tank's oh. Good News. Tank's Good News. Yeah, you do too. Right, 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 I follow right. you as well. You it's always follow you, Tank. You're making the world a better place with the content you put out. I mean, I've been a, a Shark Tank viewer since season one. I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for Shark Tank. I learned more watching this show. But this is your moment on the anything. carpet. So yeah. let's get back to the business. All right. How do you play it? So you pick an influencer playing piece, you put it on start, you roll the die, and I picked these influencer travel hotspots like Bali, Tulum, the Desert Rave. You end at the Big Pink Wall, which is like the influencer mecca in Los Angeles. Yeah. And you travel around the board and you can lose followers along the way, gain followers along the way. All of the fun is on the blue spaces. So when you land on a blue space, you have blue playing cards. Okay, I just landed on a blue space and it says, Catfish, someone uses your photos on a dating app. Gain 50K followers. Because that means you're hot. So at the end of the game, I tally up my followers, and whoever's got the most, Wins. I win. Exactly, yep. I love this. Don't talk to me, I'm verified. Exactly. <laughs> Tank, you know, tell us about company, yourself. Nick. How did you get involved in this? I love comedy, I love sales, I love Shark Tank, and I love Jay-Z, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't love being subject to the whims of the algorithm, to be honest, to make my living. So I think a physical product is a smart way to expand instead of just growing my following because that's what I am focused right. on all the time. So, I mean, I give you credit. You've got yeah. a great feel for what's going on, but tell me about the business side. So we're like so new at this. We just signed a, an exclusive deal with a big box retailer. So if someone walks in and they're gonna see influencers in the wild, how are they gonna know what that is, right? And what's gonna get them to buy? So we watched what happened with Cards Against Humanity and what do you mean? They were at the same price point as us. But they were small card games, right? So it was easy to pick up and give, give as a gift. But they were also based on an internet meme. So right. it's the same kind of thing. We want to educate people, which is one of the barriers we faced. I'm a little bit delusional when it comes to business. I thought we were going to sell a million copies on day one, even though we only had 64,000. <laughs> Every stuff, entrepreneur you know? thinks that. Then they said, hey, we don't want it for Q4. We want it for Q3. We're going to wow. put them on an end cap. You know what? We want them on the back to college end cap. Oh, boy. Then when yeah. I started advertising, I saw that most of our clicks were from 25 to 44. So I was like, back to college is not even our demographic. How many of you sold? We've sold like 1,500 so far. Oh, That's harsh. terrible. But how many doors were you in of that? 1,900. Big... You in? Wow. Yeah, it's not good. It's not selling enough. This is getting delisted. It's not giving them enough margin per linear foot. That's what's gonna happen. Perhaps, it's only been two months. The margins, in my opinion, are good. Well, tell Maybe us the numbers, tell us the numbers. We can get them from anywhere from 497 to 547, depending on how many we buy. And you sell it in at what? We retail at direct and consumer at 30. We sell it at the big box retailer at 1331, but that's through a broker. We sell it, we sell it to them at 38%. That's a decent margin. Yeah, but, decent for you. Yeah, but what will you sell direct to consumer? We haven't sold any direct to consumer. How many dollars have you sold worth of product? The broker has sold $140,000 worth of goods. It's, we're gonna sell these games, I have no doubt. The feet, my wife said, the game is getting its little tootsies wet. 
That's what happens. <laughs> but uh, is there any other information that's going to justify a $5 million valuation? We're so new, I, had, I made the number up. I'll be dead honest with you, like it's not a real number. The problem is you picked the wrong number. Coming in asking for 500K, the numbers are insane. There's just no way to say, okay, this is a good investment based off of what you've told us so far. So for those reasons, I'm out. You know, I spent some time in the toy industry. Um, the big guys, they get thousands of submissions, thousands, and one in a hundred take off. It's really, really hard. I think you're a good guy, but we all are influencers. I've got millions of followers. When I invest in a product, I get behind it, which I would have loved to have done on this one, but I gotta write a check for 500,000 to get involved with you, that's crazy. I'm not gonna do it, I'm out. Okay, why don't you think it's worth $5 million? Because you're not making money. Not yet. Yeah, but you want us to put our money today based on your potential in the future. That's asking a lot. We have no idea how this is gonna sell. Everybody's saying if you had come in asking for 50K, 80K, 100K, we'd take a flyer on you. I couldn't I couldn't do that though, because you, when we go into Walmart, they're gonna want 350,000 for 56,000 games. That's our problem. No, no, but but yeah. see, that, that's where you missed it. You don't watch yeah. enough Shark Tank, right? For us to get back $500,000, yeah. you have to generate $5 million in after-tax cash flow. Yeah. Generating $5 million in after-tax cash flow is hard. You have to do about $50 million in sales. You've got to do so much in sales, and that's just getting our money back. Well, I understand that your money is real, and I respect that, and you want to get it back. Why would I just want my money back? If I give you $500,000, I want $5 million back. I want a 10X. That was the mistake on this deal. You asked too much. Yeah. You know, I love social media. I would love to have gotten behind it and supported it and, and all of that. You're speaking in past tense. But, I don't like that. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> but here, I have no idea if people are going to enjoy this game or like it. It's just way too much money for me to risk. So unfortunately, Tank, while I love you, I'm out. Let me give you another point of view on the valuation. So all of us have already get pitched a lot. We can easily look for game developers. As Kevin said, there's thousands of them. And for $500,000, we can probably acquire a 70 or 90% position on something that has not been discovered. And that's the biggest challenge for us. But right now, this is too rich for me. I'm out. Yeah, thank you. The best thing about you as an individual and a businessman that I know of is you're quick-witted. Everything you do is so succinct and punchy and makes people laugh. But to me, I think you're just asking us all, and I think you've heard that over and over again, to take a chance card on 1,500 sold. You're asking a lot, so I'm out. All right. Hey, Tank. Good luck, man. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. You should guys, put, huh? um, my opinion, Tank's good news on the cover. And if you get a chance to go back to the warehouses and get, you know, 64,000 sticker. stickers with your face on it, with your um, Instagram um, handles, huge. Because then there's an immediate connection for your right. millions of followers. So we'll put Tank Sinatra, Tank's Good News. We have a deal? <laughs> <laughs> you got a better shot, seriously. Thank you, guys. All right, good, good luck. luck. I could have asked for less money based on the sales. I based it more on my presence online, which was... In retrospect, not the right thing to do, but I'm such a big fan of the show, so just to get to be here and meet them was a win for me.